University, as several people uh, at least pursued the defense of their research to different stakeholders. This program happens every year to establish whether the PhDs meet the set standards. This comes at a moment when the education CS, that is Professor George Magoha, has directed investigations into the PhDs awarded by local universities amid concerns that some of the postgraduate degrees are substandard or were obtained irregularly. According to the DVC academic Professor John Okumu, Kenyatta University is not worried about the Education Cabinet Secretary's directive because all Kenyatta University graduates are prepared as per the procedures laid down by the university. He added that the quality of research and the training that has been published is world class. In Kenyatta University, we are not worried about this because all our graduates have been prepared as per the pro pro procedures laid down by the university and policies. So we are not afraid of anything. The standard and quality of training and the quality of research that has been published is good, is world class. On the other hand, the acting dean of graduate school said it was a forum that students explaining of their findings and what they recommend towards the achievement of the attainment of the Big Four agenda. Today is a very big day for graduate school because we are having a seminar where all our graduates who are going to graduate in the upcoming graduation on 26th July we are presenting their findings. Eh? We are sharing. The acting dean of the School of Education shunned the claims that postgraduate students pay for their research and this is to be done. Those people want to tarnish the name of of our university or that universities. They go that direction that you are not doing this, you are, the work is being done by the others. But in my view, if it is done, you know, the, if a person has taken the work to be done by another person, and if that person now goes through the, the vetting process, because what we do is the vetting process, that person will not be able to articulate the issues. Nathan Mwendo Mutwiri, a business PhD holder, and space to mentor boy child for him who has been neglected on how to invest and be good entrepreneurs. So uh, I'll be partnering with other people, young scholars who have achieved, so that at least you can mentor the boy child, so that at least they can be good entrepreneurs, so that also they can be good investors. He applauds Kenyatta University for high levels of education standards, more so on the integrity status. Uh, the way KU has been uh, examining uh, 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 and also evaluating from stage to stage, uh, I don't think that happens here. At least I can speak for KU with a lot of confidence that uh, that's, that is not being happening in this case yet. It is a matter of wait and see whether the directive from the Cabinet Secretary of Education, Professor George Magoha, to curb substandard postgraduate degrees will come to pass. Elias Sombogo. KUTV Nairobi.